Hello, my, team. my name is Ted and welcome to my world of modelling. This week the theme is uh, Beechcraft. And I say Beechcraft because everything you'll see comes straight off the beach, apart from some background paint. <coughs> this one I did a few weeks ago, I called this one. What did I call it? Oh, Night, night Creatures. Night Creatures. Yeah. So this is all pebble. It's all pebbles, Pebble yeah. art. It's all pebbles. And the odd na rusty nail for the tiles and... No, that's... Um, what is that then? To be honest, this is one of the first ones. I can't quite... No, that's a bit of leather. Oh, is it leather, I, is it? I couldn't quite remember how did, what I did, but... They're all pebbles. I try not to do too much shaping. I think um, with pebbles you can't very well. Cause no, that, it's that, better off left natural anyway. Yeah, it, but they're right? that hard. Yeah, you'd have to hit them with the hammer yeah. to do it. So, and of course, these are the natural shapes. So but then it too, start, It looks too too you, contrived. Start, yeah, yeah, too contrived. Yeah. When you start shaping them, they're better off natural. But the the, the rats are natural. So, well, as soon as all that shape, well, that's what that's got to. Yeah. Be. But that's uh, night creatures. Yeah. Do you like that one? No, nice, yeah. Right. Now, being a bit of a cowboy at heart, I've never hid that fact. That's my favourite subject. So what's this one called? This one is called the Bandit. The Bandit. That it, now that is a nail, isn't it? Is that a rusty nail in the, uh, yes. the barrel? I just have to remember, because some of these are made a few extra. That is a nail, this one is a nail, yeah. Mexican Bandido. I sometimes think I was born on the wrong continent. Mm. <laughs> in the wrong era, because yeah. I've always been cowboy mad. Although it probably is glamorised by the, you know, the film companies. I'm sure in real life, it was quite hard for most people. Yeah, yeah. So that's the bandido. If we come north of the border a bit. Similar theme. Similar theme, yeah. As you can see, so this, this is that's a with guns. Yeah. With a nice piece. When I was younger, I was a member of the, uh, the firearms club, the Warwickshire firearms club. And we used to get joint booking with the gun collectors. And so I got the chance to shoot most, because my first love is pistols. All the iconic pistols from Colt 45, Colt Hortos, Lugas. I shot the lot and I absolutely loved it. This one I called The Entertainer. No, he's, he's, yeah, it's, this one's a guitar, isn't it, rather than a... Yeah, guitarist. A jazz singer. Most of that are natural shape. I did do some shaping with this one. If you tried to look for a piece exactly like you're after, you'd spend a lifetime. <laughs> so it's, it's better, um, well, yeah, you have to better do off a bit abstract anyway, aren't you? Well, it is abstract. You've got to keep it a little bit abstract. The thing abstract. is... If you can do it in a reasonable time, you don't get poured, you know. Well, that's right? it, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, you don't compromise your standards if you're still enthusiastic, but yeah. when you get tired, sometimes you just want to get Well, that's it, because it, once you start rushing it, well, that's it, right. you, it but, loses, uh, um, loses something. So I'll keep my enthusiasm and uh, just a bit of shadowing when necessary. This one I called Well Blessed. Well Blessed. Yeah. So it's the couple with the Bible. Yeah. Now, all those, pretty well. They're all natural shape, apart from. No, that was a natural shape. Yeah, they probably all look. Um, I shaped one out. I probably looks did a bit of shaping right. there and there, but the rest of it are just natural shapes. I love to do it if I can. Yeah. I mean, these, when I saw these two figures, that was a woman's. Yeah, it's just. Woman's shape. Yeah. They're, they're natural. Most of it is natural. It's more funny if you can do it that way. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, it's cheating, isn't it? Once you start messing with them, it loses the old object. Well, like the, the thing you do is you try and keep it as a drumstick as you can. Yeah. But you start to get too controlled. You lose losing the old feel for the, yeah. the model. And this is the last one of mine. Now, this this one is um. This is called Texas Ranger. Texas Ranger. This is the only one with a light background in it. 
just a little bit more. Everything stays off the bridge, other than the blow pipe. Yeah. Bit of driftwood. Um, You know. All the rocks. The thing is, with this, on the beaches there's a multitude of colours. Yeah. This, that's based on the Winchester 73. I think the colours are pretty well spot on. Don't really know what the actual rock is, but it works in this kind of Yeah. And of course the cactus, desert cactus, they're all shacks and sizes. They might it. look a bit weird, but I've been online. And I was, some of them look exactly like that. Yeah. So. yeah. Do you like the... Um, Chaos horns. Yeah, the skull. The skull, yeah. Drop the rocks. I think it's probably some kind of slide. And this... That's sand. Is that sand, real sand off the beach? Is that it? sand is the only beach I did. didn't come from the UK. Where was that from? Mexico. Really? Yeah. So it's UK pebbles and Mexican sand. Cancun sand. Yeah. Probably going to just open because I don't think you're supposed to take anything there. No. Nah. Yeah, but I did and got over there. I'm yeah. sure they won't miss the odd handful. Now, apart from motorbikes, I'm a bit of a gun nut. Um, and I've always I had a fire secret until '96 when the band Custer showed up. Yeah. But I've only I've had um, I shot mainly in pistol competitions, target shooting. But my first love uh, was the fast to bring a cowboy down. My first love was the fast draw. And I won this. I entered the fast draw competition, can't see the right in there. A few years ago. Was that the Town and Country Festival? Town and Country it? Festival. 1993. It was a competition organised by the Reddish Gun Club. And what it is, is you stand there in front. In front of a bulb. Could you make out the lettering? Yeah, I'm just trying to get... Is that... 14 hundredths of a second? 17. 17 hundredths. Yeah, 17 hundredths of a second. Bear in mind, this how it takes 13 hundredths to blink. <laughs> so, yeah. As you can imagine, it's pretty quick. When I fired that particular shot, the lady told me that's just won the competition and it was a three-day event. Really? So what it is, you stand facing a light, a bulb, which is connected to a timer device. So when the light comes on, you, you draw, hand back the pistol, it's a single shot, it's um single action. Just pull back the hammer, and the blank stops the clock. Yeah. Right? So all that took place, light coming on, drawing the pistol, firing, stopping the clock in 13 hundreds. Which is actually now as well below a fifth of a second, so I was quite proud of that. The only other competition I have entered, um, apart from target pistol shooting, which is mainly small, but I did shoot some for both, was um, Clay Pigeon. I can't see the year now. Brent, I've entered one Clay Pigeon contest and I won that as well. Headshots, Clay I know, Pigeon gentlemen. I know I'm playing my own trumpet now, but I was proud of the fact that. The one kept competition I entered, I won. I've never tried that. Never it was good fun, actually. I tried the pistol shooting, but never clay pigeon. Probably beginner's luck. But that was my most proud. It's, I mean, that fast draw competition to beat everybody else. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's it. Uh, the next... I didn't show this. I did make this a few weeks ago now. This is just... That's actually everything off the beach as well, if I remember correctly. Part one until it's some bits and pieces. That's driftwood. Is this based on anywhere in particular? No, 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 not really. It's just mined up. Um, the foliage mined up. Do you know um, they used to use a lot of foam in chairs and things? You know, yeah. Foam. So I, I scrapped one chair for years and kept the foam. So that's all that is. The foliage is just old foam. I'll already paint it with a dark, a dark green. Yeah. And highlight the um, with um, the light green, and maybe even lighter green, just to ca as if it's catching the light. The beach, Did you make the figures? No, I, t I bought the figures. I mean, to be honest, that would be beyond me. That sort of car. I was going to say it looks. No, so I, I bought uh, some. I think they were um, lead. I bought a whole packet of them, mm -hmm. but I did paint them just to sort of suit the situation. I made the. 
lobster putts in there, but but um, inactive. I couldn't resist a little bit of time. If that's fighting, fighting the like, can you see the lighthouse look? I will. Is it catching the light? Yeah, you can see it spinning round. That was good fun, I couldn't resist that. Oh yeah, there's one other thing before I forget. Um, when I was online the other week, I saw something on the, on the internet. I, I thought it actually fascinated, I loved it. I thought, well, I, for myself, I made a copy. And basically it's just a paintbrush. Can you see from there? Oh, is this the Mr Fox? That's a paintbrush just with the one of added features. A fox has been in the wood, yeah. hasn't it? Do you like that? It's just a paintbrush where I did the brush for the tile and I did the arm and then go, let's get up there. I just added the arm, in the sling and yeah. see the arms just peering through the bandages. Yeah. And of course you shape the bristles just sort of to look similar to um, the ears maybe. Yeah, it's good, yeah. it's good, isn't it? But I loved that when I saw it. Probably the, the chap who made the original doesn't mind me just showing a copy <laughs> of because uh, it's only for my own, uh, own benefit. I'm sure he wouldn't mind you being inspired, him or her being inspired yeah. by their work. So that's it, Basie. Um Now, as you know, the years I made quite a lot of uh, models, different shot sizes, shapes. Probably as I've run out of space now. So what I'm hoping to do in the new year sometime is start selling some of those. Um, I was hoping maybe I could sell it on your, your site. Along with the paintings, yeah, yeah. I'll we'll we'll certainly try. You wouldn't mind that. No, no. Um, like you sell yours, whatever system you got. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's interested, as well as some of these, some of the other things I made, probably some of the smaller things. Well, I don't know if some of it would be transported because it's some of them quite heavy. But anyway, I will have to send them over. Yeah, I think yeah. But uh, if anybody's interested, I will start selling some of those because these are quite transported, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Pounds. They're not too heavy. Wouldn't get damaged anyway, so. So that'll be in the new year sometime, so until then, um, so a bit of cable humour before I go. If you're in a hole, what's the first thing to do? What? Stop digging. <laughs> and they say, never appro approach a bull from the front, a horse from behind, or a fool from any direction. There was one more, what is it? Oh yeah, that's it. If you want to speak your mind boldly, make sure you've got a fast horse. <laughs> that's all cable humour, which I love when I read it. But anyway, so I'll see you then sometime next year. Until then, I'll say, have a nice Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs>